Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today we are going to talk about SpecFlow Living Documentation Integration with Azure DevOps Pipeline Projects. So we have been talking about the SpecFlow Living Documentation and the new feature the SpecFlow team is introducing every time. And this new feature about the SpecFlow's Living Documentation which can run either offline and also integrating with Azure DevOps is something really, really handy. I mean, recently we talked about SpecFlow Living Documentation like a couple of videos, but we have not really talked about integrating it with the Azure DevOps. I have already included the whole process like from the ground up on integrating the SpecFlow Living Documentation with Azure DevOps in my continuous integration and delivery with Azure DevOps course in Udemy. It is already there with full blown detail as a lap five. But this video which I'm talking about right now is actually just going to be like on how you can integrate it in the build pipeline, like an overview, but the full detail is already available on the course because that course actually covers every details on the Azure DevOps. And if I talk just about integrating in this course, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm just going to show you like how I did it in my Azure DevOps pipeline. You can get some idea if you already have an idea in Azure DevOps and you can see how the report is going to look like. So I'm going to quickly jump into my Azure DevOps project, which I have already created for my course over here. And you can see that within this particular SpecFlow living doc project, I actually can see the SpecFlow plus living doc tab. So this is actually visible for me because I have already installed the SpecFlow plugin from the marketplace and the plugin is something going to show me the whole report that we actually saw in our offline report, if you remember. So that's exactly what it is. So if I just go uh, to the living doc over here, so this was the report that we actually saw in our offline report generation in our earlier videos. And this is the report which we're going to see over here is actually being generated from the build pipeline of our Azure DevOps. And this is going to be exactly the same kind of report that you saw on the offline report. And also you can see all the analytics and everything comes in. So this is pretty cool. And one of the nice feature of this particular living documentation plugin is you can also open the editor straight away over here, which means if you have configured your feature file correctly on the step definition of on the build step, you could see this particular feature coming in for you and then you can make all the changes over here. So let's say if I want to make any change, uh, let's say more memory cleared or dumped, uh, something like that. And if I make a commit and I can say that changed or maybe I updated the feature file, which is looking good to me. And you can also create an uh, work item if you want to, uh, but I'm just going to leave this guy as it is and I have committed it. So you can see all the history comes in over here, which is going to be pretty much exactly the Azure DevOps feature on the repo. And it's been included for us over here, which is quite good. And now I can either create a pull request to run it, but since it is already checked in directly into the main branch. I don't have to worry about all those things. And if I go to the pipeline, you could see that within the pipeline, I have already created the build pipeline, which is going to include our spec flows build stuff as well. So this is the new spec flow build stuff, which actually does all the magic of generating the reports for you. All I have done is like I have included the feature files directly from where you can actually do that. If you remember in our earlier video, while we were trying to generate the report, we actually specified the feature file folder. So that's exactly what we have to do in here as well. The feature file folder and then the JSON path of the test execution.json file and the specflow living doc DLL file. Once you have everything over here, you can then try to trigger a build and you can see how it actually works. That's it. That simple it is. And you can also set the uh, triggers if you want to like continuous integration uh, trigger. And once the build has some changes, you can then see those changes coming in over here for you. So if I try to run the changes which I have made, so you can see that I'm going to run a pipeline over here. I'm going to choose the Windows 2019 uh, container image, which is a managed virtual machine of Azure DevOps. And you can see that the build execution is going to happen. So this is pretty interesting and pretty cool to see that we can integrate the SpecFlow living documentation straight into the Azure DevOps pipeline. And we can see the whole report like a continuous integration way, which is really good because 
most of the time the problem with specflow within the company is specflow seems to be like an isolated uh, software uh, for the particular project and managing the specflow seems to be really a nightmare but now because many companies are actually using specflow and they are using it for their testing development and also as a documentation for the full feature it is really nice to have this collaborative effort within their Azure DevOps so that they can see how the whole process or how the whole test is going on. And once they could able to integrate that with Azure DevOps, it is really, really nice to see everything coming in handy in just one single place. And as you can see that the test is currently executing without any problem, the whole execution is happening and the dotnet test is also running for us and the specflow build step is going to be the next one which is going to be uh, generated just don't worry about this uh, warning symbol there it's just because there is a uh, minor issue with the dotnet 5 for that particular image it's been coming up but you don't have to worry about it because anyways it's going to generate a report for you so you can see that it is currently running the specflow build steps It's trying to upload the file to the specflow living doc in the overview so now if i go to the overview and if i go to the specflow plus living doc you can see that this particular thing comes in uh, and you can see that this time i get the memory dumped instead of the uh, memory cleared like that so you can see that what changes we have made it's directly coming in and all the changes uh, will be managed from one place so if somebody within your team makes any changes on the spec flow step definition or background anywhere you can just open the editor and then you can go to the history and then you can compare if you want to and see what changes the team has made and you can just uh, see which commit has made those changes and stuff so everything is going to be there for you right from one place using this particular spec flow plus living documentation so that's it guys this is the way that you can run or integrate the spec flow living documentation with azure devops once again, thank you for watching this video. And if you want more details on how to work with Azure DevOps and how to integrate all those stuff like a lab, you can always go and watch my course, Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery with Azure DevOps Pipeline. Thank you.